To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline. Begin by selecting your video clip on the timeline and clicking the New Composite Shot button. Now I'm just going to drag an image I'd like to change the opacity of above my video in my composite shot. To change its opacity, just open up your object's transform settings. Then drag the opacity's value to decrease its transparency. This looks good, but I'm going to undo that change to show you how to animate a fade. Start by positioning the time marker to where you want to start fading in your object. Change the opacity to 0, and then click the circle next to opacity to create a starting keyframe. Then move the time marker to where you want to fade in your object by. Change the opacity to 100 to create another keyframe. Ok, now my object fades in. To fade your object back out, first position the time marker to where you want your image to start fading out. Click the circle between these two arrows to create a third keyframe at the current opacity. Then move the time marker to where you want your image to be completely faded out by. Change the opacity to 0 to create a final keyframe. Now my image fades in and back out. This also works for other objects like text, just keyframe its transform properties instead. Ok, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.